What's going on, everybody? This is the Blockchain Backer, bringing you the latest cryptocurrency news and analysis. Today, we're taking a peek over here at the Bitcoin price chart. As yesterday, as we went into the daily candle close, the price of Bitcoin rose almost $1,500 to end the day, flipping the whole cryptocurrency market green in the final two hours of the day. What gave the whole day to feel like it was really just like a red day, it actually ended up flipping green. And then now prices are really just back to where we've been all week. As most of you know, I'm having kind of my end of summer time off right now. And this will be a quick little check-in before I get back onto YouTube next Tuesday. But with this little price action that we had here for Bitcoin yesterday and the rest of the cryptocurrency market, I wanted to talk about the things that I'll just be gradually keeping my eye on in the coming days. One thing we've talked about has really just been the back test of the support level that was a previous resistance that we've had happen after most of these ABC corrections. Yesterday, that price got really close. The timing of our ABC correction has really exhibited similar behavior of what we saw back in late 2020 before the market really got roaring to the upside. And in that time, when we went in for that back test, you can actually see it got really close, but actually never ended up touching it. We could see that by zooming in on that time back there in 2020 and laying a little line there to see, hey, we got close, but they never actually ended up colliding with each other when a back test came into to play. So we got very close. We saw a pretty aggressive bounce off of that level. And I'd like to dive into this price action right here to show you the things I'm kind of keeping my eye on. Certainly, it is bizarre to go above the height of wave B to have to pull back down below, but not unusual to have to back test the level before we then eventually can turn our way up. What we do see in here is we do see five waves going in for that ending before eventually whoop, shooting its way right back up. That's also how we did end in here. We have five waves to eventually reverse the price action and start shooting its way back up. It does stall out here for a few days before finally shooting its way back up. So that'll be something I'll be keeping in mind throughout the coming days. However, I'm not fully convinced that we're there just yet, and I'll show you why. First, it's just trying to make sense out of this correction that is happening here for Bitcoin. It almost exhibits a miniaturized or morphed version of our past ABC correction. And due to it having some differences in here, if I was to compare to just how we corrected just recently, I would say where we are currently right now exhibits either two different spots in a correction, either being like right here or right here. And with how quickly it's happened, this is all within the last 12, 14 hours to see that reversal show up in there. I'm unconvinced. Maybe I'll be able to post over there on Twitter if we can confirm which one. But an example of that where we kind of have our first initial like shorts closing happening in here for those who have been around for the last several months was similar to that, right? We sort of bust our way out of here, having the shorts close before then having to really kind of work our way out in here and then boom, we're done. Right now, if we look at like the underneath indicators, we saw the initial signs of what reversals look like in here. However, that is also what happens in situations like this. So really just needing a couple more days of price action to see if we hold ourselves up well to then continue pushing or if we still have one more dip to go to finish this thing off. Either way, these are the types of behaviors we have either at the bottoms or darn close to them. One thing that is sort of missing in here that we have seen recently, and it's actually been a repetitive pattern, and I'm not sure if people are noticing what's happening with news flow, but each bottom has been marked with some type of negative news. And I don't think we really have any type of negative news currently right now. Right here, collapse of FTX marks the bottom. Right here, banking crisis marks the bottom. Right here, SEC sues Coinbase and Binance, marks the bottom. Now, there was something announced last night prior to that price actually rising in that Fitch downgrades U.S. long-term rating to AA plus from AAA. That happened right here, and then Bitcoin was still able to shoot its way up, whereas the Dow Jones gapped down once that happened. So I'm not sure if that was enough news to cause panic, like FTX, like a banking crisis, like the SEC going after the whole altcoin market. But it is worthy of noting the last three bottoms have all been marked with events and circumstances to convince people to sell. So with where we are currently right now, just kind of keeping that in mind, I'm intrigued 
And with the stock market now being open, we can see the market reacting pretty negatively here in the stock market to that downgrade on the United States credit rating. Almost 400 points down in the NASDAQ, over 200 points in the Dow Jones, and over 60 points in the S&P, with really a bloodbath over there in the stock market. And now that the stock market is open, prices have started moving over there in crypto. And definitely starting to really kind of exhibit more of those behaviors that we're talking about. The good news would be that we're through the majority of it, but there may still be a little bit more work to do here. Fortunately, while the stock market is taking a beating today, and we do see most of the crypto market is in the red, crypto is not taking the equal beating that the stock market is today after this downgrade. There's only been one other time where the US credit rating has been downgraded from triple A or risk-free to double A plus, and that was back in August of 2011. It's actually referred to Black Monday when U.S. and global stock markets crashed following the Friday night credit rating downgrade by Standard & Poor's of the United States sovereign debt from AAA to AA+. And it was the first time ever that this has happened. So this is the second time this has ever happened. And when this happened last time, it was right here. So you'll hear a lot of stories of, oh, no, we crashed 22% afterwards. No, we had already crashed quite a bit. And we kind of like had the capitulative moment happen right after that. In which you can see on Black Monday, it fell 5.5% in one day for the Dow Jones. However, already breaking down, had already lost supports, and had already back-tested supports right there on Friday. Then the downgrade happens after markets closed. Already a technical break had already happened. Prices were already crashing more than that than the week prior just kind of like that final nail in the coffin, only for things to eventually reverse and keep going, right? So definitely a historic move up here for the Dow Jones, as we saw back there last month for July, closed above the 786, still the Dow still sits up above there. But as for Bitcoin and the phase at which it seems like it's in within a correction, these are kind of my thoughts. We're getting close. This whole drift has been pretty brutal. Definitely one of the more confusing drifts that we've had. But finally, we're exhibiting some familiar signs and they're happening close to where we were hoping to see some support show up. So it's kind of like the first initial move. And that's the most aggressive move upward we've actually seen dating back to the first half of July. But not to be surprising if there is still some working out to do here. And if we do revisit these lows again, just because that's technically what we, we historically do. But as we do have a lot of narratives out there and fear to have out there, right? Like we just talked about, where is that narrative that we've seen at the bottom of all of these things? We had Black Monday in 2011 when AAA was downgraded to AA plus for the United States credit rating. We're probably going to see a lot of discussion of that crash. We're probably make big headlines today. This is the day that the credit rating gets downgraded. This is Black Monday. This is the price level where Black Monday stays at. What do we see? It was practically the bottom. It was practically the mark of the bottom. World panics. World probably sells into Black Monday. World terrified. Up and away it goes. So I'm not going to tell you how to treat this narrative, but if you wanted to sit there and panic over the narrative. Well, we have one other time this has ever happened. It happened 12 years ago. There's Black Monday. There's the sell-off after the downgrading. There's what happened next. Do what you will with it. So I'm not too worried about the downgrading just because when that happened last time, it actually just marked a bottom. But I am more focused on just solving the puzzle of this correction that's been happening in here in the current price action we just saw. And while each time we see these things happen in corrections, they've signified we're much closer to these things being over than just starting. So I'll keep an eye on it for the next couple of days while I'm on vacation. If we see some turn of events happen in there, if it breaks up or if it goes down and the structure looks appropriate, I'll probably post about it over there on Twitter. Otherwise, it just still seems like a patience game over here in Bitcoin, but we are making progress. Structures are starting to emerge and it looks like we're getting to final phases of all of this. As for XRP, there's just been no change in here. We could try to look at the underlying indicators as this range does still continue to hold. Not seeing anything here on the hourly time frame, nothing on the two hour time frame, nothing on the four hour, eight hour, 12 hour, or daily that is screaming a reversal from the bottom of this range at this time at least. However, it is still holding it. Should it break the bottom of the range at about 67 cents, a little under 67, that's 66 and a half. My thoughts are, we're just gonna do what we've talked about. There's gonna be the top of this range, the Wyckoff accumulation breakout, and that it's going to get back tested. But that certainly is just a broken record at this point. 
said it a hundred times. You can even argue that there is a very nice Wyckoff accumulation that has even happened in here. That was spring and just waiting for a sign of strength to emerge. But as of right now, that hasn't emerged. If it does, I of course will post over there on Twitter, things to be mindful of in the event that we do see it reverse. Getting into any of this price action still shouldn't lay down the wall of concern. Even a breakthrough here and shifting its way out of here doesn't necessarily mean it's time to go. It's still all about getting through all of the retracement levels and that this is the trading range and any price behavior in the middle of this range will not have much meaning. So even if we do break up in here, yes, it'll provide a little bit of optimism that we did hold the floor, but definitely no like super YOLO excitement <laughs> until we like start clearing through 89 cents. Till then, the broken record continues. The range still holds. It's been at the bottom of this range now for nine days. Now just waiting to see if this thing will spring its way out of here and where we go from there. Otherwise, crack that floor. Uh, I'll be looking down there near 50, 54 to 58 cents. But not to forget, excellent larger time frame price action. A one year and two month price range has been left. Even if we go down to 54, 58 cents, you're still going to see the super YOLO moon boy excitement out of me with XRP because that was an awful long accumulation. A back test is normal, but even so, this guy is going to be looking for more upward action. And I know we're sitting there talking about like hourly chart, two hour, four, eight hour daily charts, right? While these going to be a little bit more difficult, it is about looking at those really big time frames. And we do have the behaviors being exhibited in here, exhibited in here that we definitely want to see on the super big time frames. And these are the things that really matter, like here on the monthly chart. So excellent stuff. Just waiting for this range to do something. Otherwise, doesn't look like we're completely out of the woods yet there for Bitcoin, but we're getting closer and closer trying to get through. I guess this would be 2023's version of Black Wednesday after the credit downgrade. Either way, this day will pass. Again, as you guys know, this is my end of summer vacation time. I've had this pre-planned ahead of time to be off July 28th through 31st and then August 3rd through 7th. So I will be off of YouTube until Tuesday of next week. There may be brief periods where I'll have opportunities to hop on Twitter. But as I've mentioned in several live streams and in videos and in tweets, it is vacation time for this guy before we wrap up the summer and head into the fall. So with that time off, you of course can check out the stuff I've been working on all year. All of these videos are freshly recorded here in 2023. And this new course that I built, Blockchain Backers Technical Analysis Toolkit for Crypto. You can view this over here on bcbacker.com, which is a course I created to help you understand the price action and why the market moves the way that it does and condensing all of my years of experience into an easy to understand content course eliminating a lot of the noise we see in crypto and we see in the news narratives like we see today um, and understanding what moves the market to get an idea of the cyclical behavior of Bitcoin and the altcoin market. And of course, how to remain calm during moments of you know excitement and volatility like we're experiencing right now. There's 41 videos over here with 11 hours of content to help you build a rock solid foundation so you can skip a lot of the expensive lessons that come with crypto. You can check it out over here on bcbacker.com. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys next Tuesday. That's going to be it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you could, please like this video and give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you could be notified of when I create new content and when I go live. As always, this is not investment advice and I am not a financial advisor. But if you ever need to pick me up or a little bit of reassurance, just remember that the blockchain backers... Got your back. Have a good one.